Hey Tubers! Welcome back for another adventure. It was kind of a nice weekend Sunday anyway, not so much Saturday. So I had to cut me some deals. So it was one of those weekends where I managed to find an all-terrain vehicle. As a matter of fact, I specifically drove for the all-terrain vehicle and I managed to hit some flea markets also. So this video, let's talk about the flea markets, then we'll, we'll do the, uh, the red three-wheeler separately. So I managed to hit both Morningstar and Williams Grove. Williams Grove was going along pretty good. Morningstar, it was raining and it rained all day, so that kind of suppressed the market. So, and I, I also was kind of taking it easy because I already had a four-wheeler on the back of the truck and, you know, you can only bring home so much weight. First thing I got, um, I got these grommets. I've been needing them for a project, and you're going to see that project shortly. And I've been needing these guys for getting the center of circles. Um, I picked these up. I'm not quite sure what I was going to use them for. I thought maybe grill inserts, wire. Um, so the initial stuff was from candy. And these were five for a dollar. These were five for a dollar. And these were 15 for a dollar. And this was one buck wire. So that was candy. There was another uh, person. And I think that's about... Yeah, that's, that's really all I got from Morningstar. Except for some consumables. Then... Over at Williams Grove, I picked these lights up. They're LED 5 volts. Um, I figured, given the way they mount and so forth, they could be useful on a uh, for vanity lights on an all-terrain vehicle. So I went with those, and from the same person, I got these. So together, it was five bucks. This spool is 1,000 warm light LEDs. They don't look like they've ever been used. Obviously kind of a Christmassy type thing, but with 1,000 warm white, you can also use them for an accent in a room. Came in the spool, spool once again, unused. From the Amazon return person, I picked up, this is lithium ion battery, 24 volts. And if you push the button in, you can see it has two out of three bars. Anyway, this was kind of a take a chance on me. Dug through the bin, found that, gave her a whole dollar for it. Um, this is outside. Um, Williams Grove. Obviously, it's a snap-on light LED. Um, the battery is quite dead, but I have a project where I want to actually show you guys that you can repower a bunch of your power tools, and uh, this was one of the things I wanted to use as an example. I paid three bucks for this, you got to figure, there are people who actually take this stuff, put a base on it, and then some kind of light fixture, and they make <laughs> lamps from things like this. Um, I won't be doing that. To kind of continue with the tool discussion, I wasn't dying for these, but given that it was a whole set, she gave it to me for eight, so... It's one and a quarter, one and an eighth, one and a sixteenth, one inch, five sixteenths, three quarters, or seven eighths, and thirteen sixteen. Kind of all the big sizes all in one place, all matching. I figured I had to go eight bucks on that. This pile of tools, 
was only uh, three bucks. It was like he was charging three for a dollar, I think it was. So I just handed him three bucks and um, grabbed these guys. These kind of wrenches, um, very handy. See how far this opens? So I don't know what you call them. We used to call them monkey wrenches back in the day. This is just open box. Um, Global Master, I believe was made in Japan. Normal, yeah, it was made in Japan. So, um, this is count for uh, thread. Um, let's say you have a, um, a bolt and you're trying to read the, trying to figure out if it's a quarter 20 or whatever. So you would be able to figure out that you have 20 threads with it. And so it's a bolt gauge. I'm not quite sure what these pliers are for. They open quite a ways and there's a little hook here. So I don't know if you kind of grab a spring with it and then finish off with that. But once again, at three or four for a dollar, you just grab them. Wire, red wire, always using wire. Voltmeter. Test your batteries before you go. This looks like an old timer. If I had a guess, I don't know. In 1986, yeah, it looked like an old timer. And this keyless entry, I truly have no clue, but it cost somebody 40 something bucks back in the day. And I figured for less than a buck, what the heck, I would go for it. For your genie garage door opener um on the way out this guy had this milk crate for um three dollars it's like a real milk crate so i grabbed that guy this was also with the three for a dollar stuff it's an apron you can wear it while you're using your dremel it's this dremel on it so um there's I guess there's that. You could look really cool in your Dremel apron. And I'm going to finish off with $5 worth of electronics. So I bought three of these. You can see two are in the box. And they're 300 watt heaters. Right, fan off heater. You got all kinds of indicator lights. You know, fan speed. Um, fuse holder the box right you can see the fan blades in there I think and you got a ceramic heater they were a dollar each um, I mean these guys are still in the box there's the specifications on it now I'm not exactly sure why you would want to but theoretically you could set this up on a transformer and use it to keep something warm um, or you can say, you know, for a dollar, I got fuses, I got a fan, I got a ceramic heater that I could use for a load. And I have a bunch of LED indicators plus switches, right? For a dollar, how could you go wrong on that? There was another person, and he had a lot of really good stuff. But I'm trying not to continue adding to my hoard. But um, I just bought this box from him, and I gave him two bucks for it. So it came with a couple of bat switches. And this guy is a selector. Or maybe the other side. Click, click, click. I don't know. You have several selector points, and these, these two are variable. I bought it basically for the box, right? You used to be able to get these, like, at Radio Shack. Um... So I got it for the box, but it came with a fuse holder, switches, probably a circuit board inside. The guy had all kinds of um, electronic, well not electronic, analog gauges, you, you know, speedometer looking gauges, so to speak, for flow and all that. He did a clean out for um, husband and wife who worked for one of the local research companies and uh, he he built 
gauges and all that kind of stuff for them. So uh, the guy was somewhat of a hoarder. He obviously took a bunch of stuff home. Um, and I could have, you know, he was handing out deals for it. Nobody else was dying for it. But um, I have quite a bit of that stuff already. And I, I just didn't want to add to my own hoard, you know. After a while, you have so much good stuff and you can't find it. And uh, whoever ends up with your stuff afterwards, if they don't know what good it is, they don't know what to do with it. It kind of goes to waste. So I figured I'd take what I kind of needed and let, and I kind of passed up on the other stuff. And if you add this all up, you don't come up to a very big number. But once again, I kind of, I kind of went shopping more for what I needed than, you know, what I wanted or I could imagine wanting, wanting at some day. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. We broke the ice. We've been out to the flea market for the first time this year. Um, and that was, that's always cool and fun. I want to thank you all for dropping by to watch and comment and subscribe. Please remember, feet down, heads up, and get out and enjoy each and every day. Don't let any time get by you. You know, them flea market deals don't last forever. Bye now.